assalamu alaikum and uh, salam sejahtera well in this video i would like to share with all of you how are we going to convert from 3d solid uh, modeling part to 2d technical engineering, engineering drawing well guys once when once when we talk about 2d technical engineering drawing uh definitely it will involve with few views alright few views beberapa pandangan such as uh, front view okay pandangan hadapan top view or also known as plan view okay pandangan hadapan atau ia juga dikenali sebagai plan pandangan plan right side view pandangan sisi kanan as well as isometric view okay pandangan isometrik and uh, at the end of the day all of these views we're going to incorporate together with the related dimensions which belongs to the, the 3d part that we're going to uh, convert to 2d technical engineering later okay guys uh, let's get started okay i've already prepared or i've already created uh, a part like this which i did it as swing bracket and i'm going to convert this 3d part okay 3d solid modeling part to 2d technical engineering drawing um as you can see over here that uh, if i go to here front page so it means that in our 2d technical engineering drawing this will represent our front view this is top plane okay this uh, if we refer to this one here so our top or plan view will looks like this whereas for right plane okay it will look, it will look like this and on the other hand for isometric view it will look like this right so uh, in this particular case we need to choose a suitable drawing template or drawing layout in order to uh, convert this 3d part to 2d technical engineering drawing so we need to choose either landscape size or portrait size therefore in this particular case since our front paint looks like this all right so i think it is much uh, in my point of view it is much more uh, you know uh, easier for me if i uh, choose the a4 landscape drawing template right so uh, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to go to here new and then this time instead of using part previously in our few videos in order to form a 3d solid modeling uh, so uh, we, we use part uh, now we need to choose drawing okay double click this one okay this uh, this is the selection of uh, drawing template which I've already uh, you know uh, showed to you in our uh, previous videos so I'm going to pick standard sheet size and I'm going to browse and then as well I mentioned to you just now that I'm going to choose a for landscape therefore I'm going to choose this one I'm going to pick this one a4 landscape dot solidwork drawing template so double click this and this is the preview so once after you already confirmed that you're going to, uh, to use the a4 landscape uh, drawing template you can straight away proceed to ok and if you still remember in our previous video i did mention that we need to cancel this one first all right why because we need to double check okay our properties the, the the drawing template or the drawing layout properties by select this one sheet one right click and then go to properties okay we have to make sure that our uh, okay this one we will leave it as one to one scale and we have to make sure that our type of projection view should be inter angle so since uh, in my case i already make this as a default therefore I just uh, you know uh, click cancel if you let's if you uh, uh, you know uh, need to change this from first angle to third angle then you need to go to apply changes right 
Okay, now once after uh, uh, we already confirm all the properties uh, okay already. So what you need to do is that you need to go to view layout. All right, view layout tab, and you just choose standard tree view. Okay, this is the command for us to uh, call out the autographic views. So you have to remember that I did mention at the beginning of this video. I did mention that in order to create the uh, 2D technical engineering, engineering drawing, it will involve a few views, which is known as orthographic views, uh, uh, the front view, top or plan view, right side view, as well as the isometric view. So just click this one, and this standard three view dialog box will appear at the uh, left corner of your screen and as you can see over your open documents uh, the, uh, my string record file is already here why because just now I already opened this one okay I already opened this one if let's say if let's say if I close this file okay if I close this file and if I go back to standard tree view as you can see over here the file is is uh, already you know disappear it's already disappeared so in this particular case what you what you need to do is that you need to go to browse and you need to find out the location of uh, that particular 3d part that you have saved so my case I already saved under all these files and it should be this one swing record so just double click this and there you are so it will automatically insert uh, these uh, three views which are front view top of plan view as well as a right side view uh, right side view in our uh, drawing template or drawing layout so uh, in this case in order to create the isometric view what you need to do is that you need to pick the front view don't pick okay don't choose or do not select the top view or the right side view so you need to select or you need to pick the front view you just need to bring your cursor until the uh, dotted uh, rectangle blocks uh, orange or the blocks appear like this okay as shown in the screen as you can see over here so just click this all right and then go to projected view okay click this one and you just need to bring it somewhere around here okay if you bring your cursor to this side it, the, your isometric view will look like this if you bring it down here it will show you the bottom side of uh, this uh, part okay same as well as if you bring it your if you bring your cursor to here but in this case of course we're going to locate our isometric view around this particular of area okay so you no need to worry about the uh, just click here okay you no need to worry about the po the position why because later on like this okay you can just simply in you know arrange all the views okay according to our preference okay now seems look like uh, i i'm i'm going to uh, i need to uh, make all these views uh, become larger because this is quite small okay if i indicate the dimensions might probably uh, it can't show uh, very clearly about those particular of area involved therefore i'm going to enlarge all the scales all the size of these views again by selecting this front view okay click this one and then you need to go and find out scale here so for the time being the scale is one to five and even if you refer to here it will automatically okay uh, set for us one to five because just some once when we insert it it will insert it automatically all these views and due to that the scale also uh, the solidworks already set automatically for us which is one to five in order to enlarge these views I need to make it might probably around one to two. Okay, we try to have a look. Uh, how does it if one to one? Of course, the thing will become larger. So, 
uh, why not we try one to two first? You can uh, uh, try an error in this particular case, all right? So go to use custom scale and then expand this and try to one to two. It's still large. So in this particular case, I would like to try to one to three. If you expand this, there's no one to three scale, right? So in this, uh, in order to have that one to three skill, what you need to do is that you need to select user define. Select user define, and then you just need to change this one to three, then press enter. It's still big. Why? Because if I include the dimensions later, it will become crowded. So how about uh, I'm going to reduce to 1 to 4. Okay, 1 to 4. So again, you need to pick the front plane. Don't pick uh, uh, top for plan view, isometric view, or right side view. Why? Be this is because if, let's say, if you just pick this one, only this particular view, they will change the scale. Same to go with isometry. If you uh, pick isometry, then you go to here, and then you change it, only this particular uh, isometric view will change the scale. Same with the right side view. Front view, is uh, we can call it as uh, mother view, okay, mother view or father, father view, where, whereby all these views, these three views, which are top view, isometric view, as well as right side view, we can call it as children's view. Okay, that's why if you change the father or the mother view, all the children's view will will follow. Okay, so in this particular case, I'm going to pick this front view, which is also known as father or mother view. And then I'm going to expand this, use custom scale. There's no one to four skill, right? So I'm going to again select the user defined and I'm going to change this to one two four then press enter there you are so i think this this size is uh, uh more suitable if compared to the rest that we uh the rest of the skill that i have selected just now now once after confirm this click okay now it's time for us to indicate the uh, or show the hidden lines so again go to the main view or front view front view is also can we can consider as a main view okay right so click this one and then under display style this one okay you can pick the hidden lines visible which is this icon okay just click this one just uh, you have to make sure that make it high quality okay there you are so they will automatically do it for us in this particular case of course definitely top view they do not have any hidden lines right okay once after confirm just click okay okay guys for the isometric view it is not necessary for us to have the hidden lines you may have you may have the hidden lines but it, it, it is not necessary you can uh, eliminate or you can hide these uh, hidden lines by click this isometric view and then again under display style you can choose hidden lines removed or not probably if you would like to have color so you can shade it with edges or shade it but uh, I much more prefer to use the hidden lines removed like this all right okay now once after confirm click just click OK or close this dialog box now I'm going to indicate or I'm going to sh uh, insert the center line together, uh, the center line of these circles. Okay, since uh, uh, the center line for both of these circles uh, is already, you know, uh, prepared to us automatically, therefore I need to add the uh, center line for these slots, which is here as well as here. So, in order to make sure that our center line uh, can be uh, can can be located at this over here and also this side and this side, 
So what you need to do is that you go to Tools, go to Options, okay, Tools, Options, and this System Options General Dialogs box will appear, and we do have two type of tabs. One is System Options, and another one is Document Properties. I want you to select the Document Properties, and then as you can see over here, Center Lines slash center marks so pick this one and you have to make sure that the slot center marks should be this one so we can choose this one pick this one all right so once after confirm if you if you pick this one it means that the center center line will only uh, locate at the at the center we don't want this one we would like to have this one okay like this okay so once after all this like this then just click ok now we can go to a notation. I'm going to make this one bigger. We go to a notation, and then as you can see over here, this center mark. Okay, so click this one and just bring your cursor to here and also here. There you are. So, uh, normally, sometimes, okay, uh, guys. Uh, SOLIDWORKS will create our center lines automatically, but those center lines for holes or for slots, which uh, not, uh, you know, uh, uh, don't have, uh, if the slots or the holes do not have any center lines, so we need to do it manually as what I've showed to you uh, just now. So, we already finished with the center mark for holes as well as the uh, slots for top view. Now, if we refer to the front view as well as right side view, definitely we need to have the center marks here also, okay? Because it will represent these holes as well as the slots. Same to go with this one. So in this case, again, we need to go to a notation, and then this time instead of using center mark, center mark for the circle as well as for the uh, <coughs> for the uh, slot of this uh, top view so uh, however in order to create the side view like this side right side view as well as front view okay we need to choose center line so pick this center line and then we go to auto insert select view okay make sure that you you uh, choose this one okay then you just need to bring your cursor and click the front view as well as the right side view there you are so it will automatically you know created for us the the center center lines so once after confirm you just need to click ok now we already finished all the line types okay i got the hidden lines as well as the center mark and also the center lines now it's it's time to it is time to us uh, uh to insert this is time for us to insert the dimensions, the related dimensions of this particular part. So what you need to do is that you just need to go to Smart Dimension. And then we can just simply, let's say I'm going to create the height first. So I'm going to pick here to here. And I'm going to bring my cursor to here. And then click OK. OK. Now, uh, I'm going to change this uh, value param uh, the dimensions value parameter. I do not I do not want to use the decimal points. Why? Because decimal points it means that um, if we uh, include the, the dimension together with the decimal points, it seems like this part is a very pre precise part. Okay, so I don't want that one. So I'm going to eliminate these decimal points. So in order to, to, to change or to eliminate these decimal points, what I need to do is that again, I need to go to Tools, then go to Options. Again, you need to select the Document Properties instead of System Options tabs over here. You do have also Document Properties tab, so choose Document Properties, and then you pick Dimensions, all right? So you can, uh, change the position or the decimal point the decimal points instead of two points just now we need to choose none 
same to work with dual positions you can just simply uh, you know pick none so this one is the size of the arrow we can just leave it as default and even you can change the font type as well so, uh, normally uh, I uh, prefer to use century gothic okay uh, instead of century gothic uh, ms gothic okay I much more prefer to use ms gothic so I, I would like to change the font so just click this one and then I'm going to go and find out the ms gothic this one all right and then I'm just uh, I will leave this height uh, USB 3.5 and the uh, uh, size of this uh, uh, fonts uh, 13 okay so I will, I will leave it as default so just go to OK once after confirm then click OK all right then they will automatically change it for us so now I'm going to proceed with other dimensions go to smart dimensions and I'm going to pick this one just look at just you, you can just put or locate your dimensions anywhere first uh, don't worry why because later on we can uh, readjust or repositions these uh, dimensions later uh, for the time we would like to you know indicate or we would like to uh, show all the important dimension first okay to reposition or to rearrange the dimension we can do it later on all right so now uh, I still left this one, the height for this one and also this one. There you are. Then how about the diameter of this uh, circle as well as hole. So I can just simply go and attach it uh, at this top view. Right? So I'm going to pick here, the outside one. I'm going to uh, look at here. Don't worry about the location. Remember, don't worry about the location because later on we, we can we can uh, reposition it later. And once after you already uh, pick it over here, go to leaders. Okay, the dimension dialog box and dimension dialog box. Go to leaders, and then you can change the positions of A3 instead of using it like this. You can use change it like this. Okay, it's, it is much more you know much more uh, look very nice okay compared to just now and even though if you can see over here i don't like to have this kind of uh, diameter extension line okay so i'm going to eliminate this i will just uh, i would like to leave only this arrow so what i need to do is that i just need to bring my cursor and pick this one one arrow or open leader click this one there you are so it will show it like this all right now I'm going to indicate the hole. Okay, for this one hole. Again, I'm going to go to smart dimensions. Pick here, and let's say I'm going to locate it somewhere around here first. And then go to leaders, go to custom text positions, choose this one there. Okay, there you are. You'll change it like this, and then I'm going to pick this one. Okay, and since this is a hole through. So I'm going to add the text over here, whole diameter 60 through. So what you need to do is that in order to add the text on this particular of dimensions, what you need to do is that you go to value tab here. And then as you can see over here under dimension text, you need to bring, don't, don't eliminate or don't delete this one. Okay. Because this, this one from here, until here is actually belongs to diameter 60 this one okay so uh, just bring your cursor and put it at the beginning of this uh, uh, diameter and then i'm going to type it as whole diameter 60 then true right at the back here so i need to bring my cursor and just click it at the at the end of this diameter text okay mode diameter din all right so i'm going to make it d h r e true okay so i'm going to space bar here because this is too near okay between this one this one i'm going to make space bar make it like that then click okay there you are all right now 
it's time for us to indicate this one so i'm going to uh, go and select smart dimensions and then i'm going to pick this one and then go to leaders and i'm going to uh, change the position of the text uh, of this diameter and then i would like to if it's okay if you just will uh, leave this diameter extension line but uh, for me it's uh, later on my project you will get i will my project you will easily to get confused hey, why you don't have additional uh, uh, extension line here right so in order to uh, avoid from that confusion so what you need to do is that you just need to go to here and go click this one and you're going to have some like this all right and then we're going to have here hole here instead of indicate the diameter of the hole on the top view of that you can also indicate it uh, on the uh, in this particular case okay in this particular uh, in this particular case you can also indicate uh, on the uh, front view so let's say i go to smart dimension and let's say this time i'm going to indicate this one to this one where by the diameter this is 70 right and the depth because as you can see over here okay this hole this diameter hole is 70 and the depth is i need to double check okay the depth is 20. okay you can indicate the depth like this okay you can indicate the depth like this or you can just simply okay now eh, i click once only click once only at this dimension and then i'm going to add the text over here so i'm going to go to dimension text here uh, remember eh, do not eliminate or do not delete this one because this one from here okay from here until here is actually belongs to diameter 70 okay so now i'm going to uh, key in the words hole diameter 70 depth 20. why depth 20 because the depth is 20 right the depth here is 20 so i can indicate like this as well okay so in this case okay, let's see I'm going to locate it somewhere around here. Don't worry about the positions. That only we can reposition it. So in this case, since we already mentioned the depth 20, so we can eliminate this. We can erase or eliminate this uh, this dimension. Okay. Just click and press delete. All right. Now, if let's say if you would like to uh, indicate the whole diameter 70, so you can without without depth 20, you just uh, would like to indicate whole diameter 70 then you can indicate this 20 just now lah, the dimension just now all right now i'm going to uh, create the hole here hole through so again i'm going to go to smart dimensions click this one and then don't forget to go to leaders tab and then change the position of the text to this one and then i'm going to pick this one right and again I'm going to add in front of here whole diameter 45 through so just click once only at this dimension and then go to here in front of this uh, diameter then I'm going to keep in whole diameter 45 and then bring my cursor to here through right so just click OK now uh, is there any more okay this one and also the uh, radius or the diameter of this slot and also the radius or diameter of this this uh, curve so i'm going to again pick smart dimensions and let's say i'm going to keep it somewhere around here r30 again go to leaders go to custom text positions pick this one and then i'm going to choose this one all right now oh i just left another one here smart dimensions go to here and then go to leaders 
custom text position click this one and also this one and i'm going to add here the text here in front of this uh, dimension slot r18 true so i'm going to go to value tab then bring my text to front here then i'm going to indicate slot status bar r18 and then i'm going to bring my cursor to the end of this dimensions true there you are all right and then i think you can just leave it like that uh what else is there any dimension oh this dimension the distance of this one to this one okay the distance or the length of the slot so again to go to smart dimensions click this center mark to this center mark you can just simply look at first anywhere don't worry and then from this center mark of the slot to this center mark and this i'm going to locate it okay uh, align with this one and another one is this center mark to this center mark make it at the center all right now you already finished go to here click okay okay any any dimension that we still left okay we do have over here chamfer here chamfer here also chamfer here and here chamfer also here inside the inside the slot the chamfer whereas for here and also here is a fit is uh, are fillets here here and here are fillets the three uh, area here one two three is are the fillets whereas for this one this one and also this one are chamfers so how are we going to indicate that so in engineering drawing in order to indicate this particular of chamfer okay there, there are a few methods one of the methods is actually okay look, first, first of all i need to measure first what is the distance between this one and this one all right so i go to smart dimension first and i'm going to click this end point to this end point okay it, it is five okay it is five so five okay five and how about this one smart dimensions i'm going to pick uh, you can pick either here or here right i'm going to pick this end point to this end point it should be not not the, the four is actually this length we we, we are not going to uh, you know uh, measure this length we're going to measure for chamfer this one over here from here to here okay from here to here okay that one and also three which is from from here to here okay so you said three times three okay means that the chamfer from here to here is three from here to here is three same to go with this one five just now right so from here to here is five and from here from here to here is five as well so in that case i'm going to pick notes not smart dimension all right this time we're going to pick notes pick note icon and then just look at the arrow at the middle of this line this chamfer line and then you just pick anywhere just click and then you can indicate it as c5 c5 it means that chamfer 5 times 45 degree 45 then the symbol of degree you can go to here and pick this one degree all right why times 45 because if 5 times if over here 5 times 5 the angle over here is 45 degree okay the angle of here is 45 degree so that's why you are in engineering room we can show uh, the chamfer or we can indicate the chamfer as c5 times 45 degree okay so in this case i'm going to select all these because i'm going to change this to ls copic and then i'm going to change this over to 13 enter 
after you are so I start to confirm just click OK now how about this one this is three right so another way to uh, indicate or to show the chamfer in uh, two detail recognition drawing is that like this this is the this is the first method the other method is by go to notes again okay this is another method okay this is another method just look at your arrow at the middle of this line chamfer line click this one this one and there's some way to indicate somewhere around there don't worry about the position okay this time you can indicate as c3 times 3 chamfer 3 millimeters times 3 millimeters why 3 times 3 because of this one just now okay from here to here the distance is 3 from here to here is 3 so that's why you can indicate as c chamfer 3 times 3 if let's say the chamfer the the chamfer distance chamfer is from here to here is three let's, this is an example okay let's say let's say from here to here is three and from here to here is five in that particular case you can't use you can't use times 45 degrees why because 45 degrees you can only apply for chamfer that they do have same distance between here to here and from here to here all right and let's say as i want to mention to you just now let's say if the chamfer both of the uh, distance are not the same let's say from he here to here is 3 mm from here to here is 5 mm so you need to use this one c3 times 5 all right so in this case uh if let's say it's uh it's, it's, it's the same the distance are the same for uh, for both of these so you can either use this method or this method okay should be should be no problem so i'm going to change the font type i'm going to select all this and go to here ms ms gothic ms gothic i'm going to change the size 13 just now right you got this 13 and then just click ok there you are and then you just left another one more here which is i need to measure i forgot already what is the the the, the uh, distance or the size of this chamfer so go to sketch and go to smart dimensions and then to here to here okay should be three as well same three so in that case I'm going to locate this as go to a notation all right then go to note just look at it some sort like this and then I'm going to locate it as C3 times 45 degree okay since it's the same the distance are the same so you can uh, use as well as you just now you can use either this method or this uh, or this method like this okay so i'm going to highlight all these and i'm going to change the font type to ms gothic and then i'm going to change the size of the font as well which is 13 enter there you are so i start to confirm just click ok all right and remember to uh, indicate this chamfer as well uh, these fillets as well here here and also here so i need to check first uh, you can pick the smart dimension either go to annotation or sketch okay they do have smart dimension so go to annotation smart dimensions let's say this one berapa? this one three okay okay this one also three and then this one also three. So in this step, for this particular of part, we only have uh, fillets whereby the size of the fillet is three mm. So in that case, we can only uh, we can just simply indicate one one fillet only. Okay, I will show to you how. Again, go to notes. Don't go to smart. Uh, uh, you can uh, go to smart dimensions. Go to smart dimension, or you can go to notes. Okay smart dimensions 
click this one you can pick here also or you can pick here also but in this case i'm going to pick this one over here click and then you just simply locate click somewhere around here then go to leaders custom text position pick this one i'm going to pick this one as well and then i can add the text at the back here r3 here okay with typical typ typical it means that all uh, fillets that uh, belongs to this part are are the same which is whereby the radius of that fillets uh, r3 okay so it means that if we uh, just indicate r3 typical it means that we understand that all the fillets or the radius here uh, the size uh, are r3 okay it means that the radius are 3 mm however guys if let's say you do have let's say for example okay this is only example let's say here is 3 mm here is 3 mm and here is let's say 5 mm so you can't indicate typical why because even though both of here are 3 mm the radius of the fillets however this one is not 3 mm okay for example okay by the way this is what i did mention this one is a uh, 5 mm uh, right so let's say this is 5 mm so you can't indicate typical T <coughs> typical means that <coughs> all particular of that uh, features such as uh, fillets <coughs> uh, holes or chamfer are the same <coughs> then we can use typical all right so in that particular case kalau let's say for example okay let's kalau lah eh, kalau if these fillets is 5 mm radius r5 so you need to indicate it one by one so this one r3 over here r3 and over here r5 all right so i think should be okay all right so same should like everything uh, already uh, we already attach or we already include the dimensions so once after confirm so we need to rearrange the views because why because as you can see over here uh, the these uh, views you know it almost you know uh, near to this line instead of this one they do have a lot of space so in that case we're going to move this one to here a bit here and here it is not necessary to have dimensions over here for the right side view why because all the dimensions we already locate it or we already uh, include it on the front view as well as uh, top view okay so let's say if there's uh, nothing to show on uh, on this uh, right side view should be fine okay just leave it blank like that okay and then i'm going to move this one around here okay don't worry because why because all the arrows they will follow they will follow move this somewhere around here so we're going to locate all this at the middle of this this area this section okay this area i think it should be okay put this somewhere around here a bit all right okay done now we need to uh modify or we need to add uh, uh information in our title block here so if you still remember in our previous video i've already showed to you how are we going to you know modify or add any informations in our title blocks so what you need to do is that you go to sheet one right click and edit sheet format okay there you are so i'm going to drawing number is not this one this swing bracket should be the the, the drawing title so I, I need to bring my cursor over here until the cap e symbol appear then double click and then i'm going to indicate as swing bracket i'm going to i just leave it as empty gothic i'm going to bold it and i'm going to reposition this all right and then the drawing number let's say drawing number is b m c g k513 let's say section 9 uh, slash group 2 
okay and the sequence numbers of the part is 0 1 all right so I'm going to highlight all this make it bold and I'm going to adjust the size let's say 14 100 so I think 14 just nice click OK and then so put it somewhere in center here at the middle of this box okay at the middle of this box this box we I'm going to look at the middle of this, this this area or this box scale you have to remember to change the scale so the scale is uh, one two four if I'm mistaken right okay okay and then material you can indicate the material I already showed to you how you can apply materials on our 3D part from uh, our previous video and even you can find out what is the weight, what is the mass in grams okay, by using the mass properties icon command alright so let's say that let's say okay the material is my steel so my steel and then the wig let's say the wig the wig is let's say mm, 210 grams okay you can find out this okay uh from mass properties okay, i already uh, showed to you how to find out uh, wigs and also how i'm going to apply material in our previous video so finish let's say i'm going to make it polish and then okay this one name drawn by let's say me check by let's say other person and of course for approval your lecturer's name lah right so and then the date don't forget don't just leave it blank okay don't just leave it blank let's see 11 4 2021 okay uh, 12 uh, 4 2021 and let's see for this one i'm going to make it same as well 12 4 2021 Okay, so when I'm saying MCA, no need now, right? And then, do not forget the most, one of the most important information, which is quantity. Okay, quantity of this part uh, in order to form the overall product, all right? So I'm going to, if you still remember, if you still remember, uh, you, you can go to sketch and then go to here, expand this and copy entities which entities or which object that we're going to copy these nodes or this text that I'm going to copy make sure you check the kit relations and also parameters from to okay, click this one from from to okay from this point to this point and then I'm going to change this to QTY which is short form for quantity okay and then i'm going to rearrange this maybe like this and then uh the quantity again i'm going to go to here copy entities this one okay notes is already so over there then start from here to here let's say in this product i need four units of this uh 3d part so we just need to click uh, uh, insert for and then we're going to rearrange it all right anything else okay let's i'm going to indicate my uh, group names or my company names over here just wait in my cursor until okay until the small uh, the capital a symbol appeared then double click and smart design interface all right i'm going to highlight it all and then i'm going to change this to let's say an s gothic or century gothic also can because you use uh, since you already use century gothic you can use century gothic 
on a user on a spot list okay and then bold it so i guess you have to be okay like this okay there you are okay so once after everything already uh settled what you need to do is that you need to go back to sheet one right click and then edit sheet there you are so now uh, you already uh, completed your your 2d technical drawing for a part which uh, known as swing bracket okay guys so this is how your 2d technical drawing looks like okay whereby we do have the front view top or plan view right side view as well as isom isometric view together with all those related dimension related important dimensions and also the related important information in the in the title block okay guys so hopefully that you understand if you are you still uh, in doubt or you still uh, not understand uh, at certain areas so please uh, you know uh, go back to uh, you can play back the video and uh, you can uh, please try out okay until you really familiarize with all this all this command okay thank you very much for watching and i will see you in our next video thank you very much